Happy 4th of July, everybody. I'm Nate Moore, and this is Excel Video 272. I realize some of you will be watching this movie a couple of days after the 4th of July because you've been out of the office and hope you enjoyed the holiday and had a great time off. What I want to do today is show you a really clever trick that involves what we've been talking about with go to constants. If I have an expense form here that I filled out with the date and the department, my name, and some expenses, what I can do is I can use the find and select and I can either go to constants here or I can use go to special and pick constants here. I'll allow all the numbers, text, logical formulas, everything in there and just click OK. Now watch what happens when I come here and clear the contents. I don't want to clear everything because then I'll clear my formatting. I'm just going to clear the contents. Now I've got a form that I can come back and reuse and if I wanted to come back and enter a date here again all those formats are still there. Yeah, it's 2.4. That doesn't look so bad. Whereas if I'd done clear all, then I would have lost all the formatting in the cells. So let's undo and go back one more time. What I did was just find and select, and I can either use go to special, or I can just pick the constants, and it selects all of the constants in my worksheet. And I can either clear those out, or I can just hit delete. And I've got an expense form now that I can reuse and reuse and reuse. I could save this as a PDF or send it to somebody or whatever. When I've got what I need, I'll just clean it out and reuse it. Or I could save it as a different tab and reuse it if I needed to keep the history. The clever trick is to be able to select all of the constants and then delete them. The trick to making this work is if you look at the things I want to keep, like this heading expense form, see how even though it's just, I mean, I could have just typed in the word expense form, but if I'd done that, Excel would think it was a constant and delete it. So I put equals and then put in quotes the text I wanted. I did the same thing here and here and here. See how I put it in quotes? Same thing here and here. And so what I did is I converted the text that I wanted to keep to a formula so that when I select constants, I don't get these cells. And down here is simply, uh, that's a formula to start with. It's a sum formula. So that's the game. Selecting the constants and then using either clear contents or delete either one gives me a reusable expense form and the trick to making stuff stay is to either treat it as a formula with the equal sign or have it be an actual formula and Excel will keep those. That's what I wanted to show you today. Not quite as exciting as the 4th of July fireworks but if you're doing a bunch of forms and you're forever reinventing forms and deleting stuff off and starting over using find and select and constants may be a good way to save you some time. Hope that was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.